When you're a marketer, you want to create a personalized journey in marketing cloud account engagement for your prospects. But without data, your options are limited. In this video, we'll show you how to use form handlers to capture the information you collect from externally hosted forms and bring it into account engagement so you tailor the prospect experience. Let's get started. Account Engagement offers three ways to engage with leads on your website. Forms built in Account Engagement, externally hosted forms linked via a form handler, and landing pages. All three can work together as part of your overall marketing strategy. In this video, we'll focus on externally hosted forms linked to Account Engagement via a form handler. If you want to connect an existing external form to Account Engagement, or you have more complex form requirements, form handlers are a great option. Think of form handlers as simply a bridge to collect data between external forms and account engagement. They give you much more flexibility than a traditional form. Styling and behavior are determined by the external form tool you pick, so you can choose something that matches your needs, no matter how complex. They support both client-side and server-side submissions so you have a lot of control over how your data gets into account engagement. You can route data to multiple destinations, including account engagement and other systems. Or perhaps you don't want to send the data directly to account engagement, because you need to clean or transform the data first. Whatever your needs, form handlers can help. Even better, with form handlers, you can still take advantage of account engagement completion actions and automations. So you might want a form handler submission to trigger an autoresponder email saying, thank you, we'll be in touch shortly when a prospect submits a demo request. Or take it a step further with conditional completion actions. Perhaps an assigned prospect gets a different thank you email than a brand new prospect. You also use form handler submissions as matching criteria to trigger other automation, such as controlling how prospects move through Engagement Studio programs and are added or removed from dynamic lists. And you can still take advantage of account engagement cookieing and reports. Now let's create a form handler to connect an externally hosted form where prospects can request a demo to account engagement. We begin on the Content tab in the Account Engagement Lightning app. On the left-hand side panel, select Form Handlers. Now click on the plus add form handler button to start creating your form handler. First, give your form handler a name. Let's call it demo request. Notice the other fields here to track campaigns, internal tags, folders, etc. Choose a tracker domain to use, whether it's your primary or a secondary domain. You can enable kiosk mode if necessary. This option prevents the prospect from being tracked with cookies when they submit the form handler. It's handy for in-person events where multiple prospect records may be created using the same device. You can also enable data forwarding to the success location, allowing you to collect data in account engagement and push it to a different service as well. You can disable visitor activity throttling and send autoresponder emails after every submission. Generally, this setting prevents automations from firing if a prospect submits a form several times in a short amount of time, such as when they correct the spelling of their name. Next, we need to specify the URL where the prospect will be redirected after a successful form submission and the error location for failed submissions. You can choose whether the prospect is sent to the original URL or a different URL for each one. Here is where you would specify any completion actions, such as adding the prospect to a campaign. Finally, we'll add the fields we want to capture in this form handler. The email field is included by default since it's a required field. We'll add the first name field by clicking Add New Field. Pay special attention to the external field name mapping. This is the value of the field from your external form and must match exactly. Pay special attention to case, leading spaces, trailing spaces, special characters, etc. The external field name does not have to match the prospect field exactly, although we recommend that you are very conscious of your naming conventions. Consider the data type you're using. Text is the most common, but if you choose a number, remember that it accepts only numerical input. So use text for fields like phone numbers that have special characters. 
You can mark the field as required or leave it as optional. Let's click over to the Advanced tab and customize the error message, which is a good practice for easier troubleshooting. You also have the option to maintain the initial value upon subsequent submissions if you want to keep that original value in the database. Once you're satisfied with your form handler settings, click Create Form Handler. Once you're done, click on the View Form Handler Code button. Copy the code and share this information with your IT team or anyone responsible for connecting this external form to account engagement. They will use this as an endpoint. And that's it. You've successfully created a form handler in Marketing Cloud Account Engagement. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check the Form Handler Topic Salesforce Help. Happy form handling.